Alright, you read the title. We got a FNAF tier list today. Obviously, S tier is the worst. D tier is the worst. Uh, or uh, S tier is the best, my bad. D tier is the worst. Alright, starting off, we have Mangle. I'm not gonna lie, Mangle is one of my favorite characters, but she's not one of my favorites, and I think he is, um, I think she's a pretty good character, so I'm gonna put him in, uh, I think I'm gonna put him in A tier, top of A tier for now. Balloon Boy. He steals your flashlight, and Foxy obliterates you. I've lost Night 6 so many times that way in FNAF 2. Um, same with Ultimate Custom Night. He's pretty annoying. All right, JJ. Um, JJ's not really annoying in FNAF 2 since she's just a hoax, or not a hoax, a uh, Easter egg character. Mm, I'll put her in B tier, actually. Mm, C tier. She doesn't really do anything, but uh, she's just a recolor of Balloon Boy, so nothing original. Withered Freddy. Going in A tier. Withered Freddy is going in A tier. He's one of my favorites, and he always will be one of my favorites. Withered Bonnie. S tier. I love Withered Bonnie so much. He gave me nightmares. Withered Chica. Another S tier. I love Withered Chica so much. With her broken jaw and everything. Uh, Withered Foxy. Withered Foxy's really honestly kind of overrated. I don't really like him that much. I'm gonna put him in B tier. Golden Freddy. Um. Golden Freddy, he's pretty annoying because whenever you shine the light down the hallway and you see his giant head, it's a bit hard to see. Um, and you have to react really quickly whenever he's in your office, so he's pretty annoying. I'll put him in B tier with Foxy. He has a really good design, though, but he's just, again, a recycled character. All right, the puppet. Okay, the puppet, in my opinion, is one of the best designed characters. I love his voice, her voice, I don't care, whatever. Um... I'm going to put the puppet in A tier above Withered Freddy. Springtrap. Springtrap is going above Withered Chica in S tier. Springtrap is the best designed character in the series. Original Freddy Fazbear. Again, another really overrated character. He, he He's the main uh, attraction. He's the OG guy, but he's just really overrated. There's not much going on here. I'll put him in B tier with Foxy. All the Phantoms are going in C tier. Because I like them, but they're just reused models. Like Withered, uh, uh, uh my bad, um, Phantom Freddy here. It's just a re uh, look. It's just Golden Freddy. <laughs> Again, Phantom, actually Phantom Balloon Boy is going in D tier. I don't care what you say. The Watermelon, C tier. Phantom Puppet, C tier. Phantom Puppet has killed me so... Well, not killed me, but allowed Springtrap to kill me so many times, and it really gets on my nerves. Phantom Mangle is annoying. Mm. I think I'm going to have to put her in D tier. Phantom Foxy. Another D tier, definitely. F uh, Nightmare Freddy. Okay, the thing about Nightmare Freddy is the fact that you need to pay attention to the bed or else he's going to kill you. But he, I think he's one of the best designed characters, again. I think he'll go A tier for me. Nightmare Bonnie is definitely not my favorite uh, Nightmare animatronic. His design is just bad. I'll put him in B tier. Nightmare Chica is my favorite Nightmare. S tier. I just love Nightmare Chica. Nightmare Foxy. All the Foxies are super overrated. I'll put him in A tier, because he, he's not that bad, but he's still pretty bad. For what people say is. Original Bonnie, going in C tier. Original Bonnie looks good, he's just not as appetizing as people say, you know what I mean? Alright, Nightmare Fredbear is going into S tier. Nightmare is also... Mm, I'm going to put him in A tier, since he's just a recolor of him. Uh, plus trap. Plus trap is going into uh, C tier. Plus trap has made me lose so many times, and I hate his jump scare. And since he's not even a really actual nightmare animatronic, he's just a plus trap. Yeah, Jacko Bonnie. 
Jekyll Bonnie is one of my favorite characters in the series. He's the best. He's one of the best designs. Springtrap still takes that though. Uh, he's going into H. Well, above Nightmare Freddy in H tier. Wither or er, um, Jacko Chica, definitely going into a uh, S tier above Fredbear. I think Chica is such an underrated character. Nightmare Mangle, just a reskin of Nightmare Foxy. Um, I'll go B tier, above above Freddy Fazbear and B tier. Nightmare on. Uh. I don't really like him that much. His design isn't too good, but he looks like Jack Skellington. I'll put him in. I'll put him in B tier. B tier above Nightmare Bonnie. All right, Nightmare Balloon Boy. Old Man Consequences. His Easter egg is pretty cool, and in FNAF World, it's just pretty interesting. But he's not really a designed character, so he'll go into C tier the bottom of C tier. In Adventure Indo 01. I don't know if that's supposed to be Mindo or what, but uh FNAF World was such a good game for me. I don't know why people hate it so much. So I'm gonna put I'll put him at the top of D tier. Original Chica at the top of A tier, definitely. I love Chica, she's my favorite FNAF character, and yeah. Don't hate on me in the comments, but it's just it's the, it's the truth. All right, Candy Cadet. Uh, I like his stories, but they're all pretty creepy and dark. Mmm. I'll put him above Nightmare in A tier because he's a pretty good designed character, just a robot who dispenses candy. All right, Circus Baby. Mmm. Circus Baby's going. At the bottom of S tier. Elizabeth Afton. Ugh. I love Circus Baby so much. And just how she lured Michael into the scooping room. Just That plot twist got me so hard. And I hated Baby from then on. But I love her design. I love par uh, her um, her mini, dialogue, her mini mo monologue in FNAF 6 before Henry interrupts her. Yeah. Ballora. I love Ballora so much. She's going up a tad behind Chica in A tier. Ballora is such a well designed character, but I feel like they could have done more with her eyes opening. And her uh, crawling like a spider. Ugh. Fun time Foxy? Oh. See, every time I play Ultimate Custom Night, I always forget about Fun time Foxy. So, um. Bottom of B tier. But I love his voice. I. I love his voice a lot, so I'll put him above Nightmareon. Alright, Funtime Freddy is, um, yeah, he, um, <laughs> he's going at the, uh, end right here. He's going at the, he'll go, he'll take Withered Chica's place in A tier, or S tier. Funtime Freddy is one of my all-time favorite characters. Bon Bon. Um... How about, I hate Bon Bon. He's killed me so many times. I'll put him at the bottom of it. I'll put him above Old Man Consequences in C tier. Innerd. Innerd is going in low C S tier or high A tier. I'll put him above Ballora in high A tier. Biddy Bab. Uh, I don't really care for Biddy Bab that much. But I'll put him, I'll put him at the bottom of C tier. Actually. Yeah, I'll put him at the bottom of C tier. Mini Arena is going at the bottom of D tier. Who actually likes the mini rings? Rip off Walmart puppets. Lobit. I love Lobit's design so much, even though it's just a recolor. A fun time uh, for, uh, Foxy. But he doesn't have eyebrows, so that kind of ruined it for me. I'll put, I'll tell, uh, he'll take the puppet's place, so... In uh, A tier. Original Foxy is the most overrated character in the entire freaking series, man. I used to like him a lot, but everybody started theorizing, oh, Funtom or Foxy's a good guy, Foxy's a good guy, because he didn't actually kill you. I like him, but uh, it's just, I'll put him up. I'll put him above Freddy Fazbear and B tier. Actually, no, I'll put him at the top of B tier. Because I just really never liked him that much. Bitty Electrobab. 
They could have done so much more with Electrobab. He, that's why he's going at the bottom of D tier. Be, they could have put, like... They could have done something so cool to take his place instead of Mini Arena 2 and Electrobab. Yeah, that just was a huge waste. Another one, Bon Bon. Or, uh, Bonnet. That was another big waste. For a slot, so she's going up right above Electrobab. Mendo, the or um, <laughs> wait, is that his name? Mendo. Yeah, or Yendo. I don't know his name. I don't know this guy's name. Anywho, I'm pretty sure it's Yendo. Um, Yendo, another one worst jump scare in the entire series besides the ultimate custom night PNG moving jump scares. Worst jump scare in the entire series. Look it up. I swear, he'll go above Nightmare Balloon Boy. Cause I just hate his jump scare. Trash in the gang. Bottom of B tier. I love them. I made Bucket Bob in real life, and uh, I made all of them in real life. Helpy. Helpy's going. Um, Helpy's going at the top of A tier, right behind a little bit. Happy Frog. Okay, the mediocre melodies are such underrated characters for me. I love the mediocre melodies. I'll put Happy Frog. I'll put Happy Frog, uh, I'll put him, her, right behind, I'll put her, I'll put her at the, uh, the, the bottom of A tier, uh, Mr. Hippo, if you know, you know, Pig Patch, mmm, I love his little dialogue, his mini dialogues at the end, like, uh, if you see the body of your enemy floating by, or stuff like that. And then his little jingle with the banjo. I'll put him right above Happy Frog, since, just because I love those. Ned Bear. Ned Bear is another uh, underrated character. Uh, Stranger Danger and all that stuff. I'll put him, I'll put him right above. Mm. I'll put him in front of, I'll put him at the top of C tier. Ooh, JJ, you're not welcome. I'll put him at the top, top of C2. Orville Elephant. I love Orville so much. I'll put him at the bottom of S tier. Go original Golden Freddy, Yellow Bear. I think I'm going to have to put Original Golden Freddy above Ennard. I love Original Golden Freddy so much. And he got me so good whenever I was younger. All right, Rockstar Freddy. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't noticed yet, the Rockstar animatronics are spring lock suits. Um, they have five fingers, and they have the the things on the side of their mouths, with like the uh, the metal things on the side of their mouths. Yeah, that makes them they're they're spring lock suits. All right, Rockstar Freddy. He's pretty easy in Ultimate Custom Night, but I think I'll put him at the. Oops. No, get out of here, fool. Um, I think I'll put him, he's pretty overrated, honestly. I don't really like his voice either, it just doesn't suit him, you know? I'll put him right behind Helpy. Rockstar Bonnie, I hate him so much, I can never find his guitar. I'll put him, uh, right above, uh, Bon Bon. Rockstar Foxy, I have died to this guy so many times, hoping for an extra fast coin or something. He's going at the bottom of D tier, actually... He'll go above not, he'll go above Phantom Foxy. Rockstar Chica. Ugh, what the heck? I don't know what that is. Um Rockstar Chica is pretty easy to deal with, but I, I love her design so much. Her voice just doesn't really suit her though. I'll put her at the bottom of a, uh, a tier. Music Man. I I kinda love Music Man. I'll put him at the bottom of S tier. Music Man has a special place in my heart. Don't ask why. El Chip. I hate El Chip so much. Not because he's Mexican. Don't freaking say that. But just because... I don't just... I don't like his design. Alright. Funtime Chica has gotten on my nerves so freaking much uh, for the past year playing Ultimate Custom Night. So I'll put her at the bottom of B tier. That seems fair. Molten Freddy is the best... One of the best design characters in the series. It's gotta be a tie between him and uh, Springtrap. 
So I think I'll put Molten Freddy above Fredbear in S tier. Afton, Jimmy Neutron, Springtrap. A lot of people don't like him, but I really do like him. He's such an underrated character in the series, so I'm going to put him above Withered Freddy. Scrap Baby, another one. Super, super good design. I'm going to put her right above Molten Freddy. Lefty, the puppet. It's just it's just the puppet, you know, with a with a armor on. I'll put him right above the normal puppet because he has the thing on. Uh he he's wearing lefty phone guy. Phone guy. He's going right behind Withered Bonnie and Esther. Actually right behind Springtrap and Esther. Don't ask why. Dee Dee. I'm pretty sure we both all know the answer to this. Um, RF, um, RXQ, um, I have no idea how long this tier list is, like, oh, wait, oh, we're almost done, um, RXQ, okay, I, th I really love the fact that RXQ is such a mystery, but he doesn't really have a good design, it's literally just Spring Bonnie, or, uh, Toy Bonnie, I'll put him, put him at the top of D tier. Actually, Adventure in Doe 01 holds that purpose. Same with uh, Shadow Freddy, just literally they're just the same. All right, uh, Fredbear. This, I'm putting Fredbear. Fredbear is going at the top of A tier, I'm sorry. Or S tier. Withered Bonnie is my favorite character. But Spring Bonnie and... Uh, Spring Bonnie and Fredbear started it all, so yeah, they're going at the top because they're two of my favorite characters in the entire series. Sc actually, Scott Cawthon is going at the very top since he made the series. He literally made the series. He started it all, so Scott is at the top. Or did El Chip or Chipper start it all? Because he was the one. Of, oh, he made FNAF technically. Because if it wasn't for him, FNAF would never be a thing. <sighs> all right. I think I'm gonna put um I think I'm gonna put Chipper at the bottom of B tier. He just doesn't really have a good design to me. Alright, Toy Freddy, the gamer man. Okay, I'm gonna put Toy Freddy in mid A uh mid A tier. I love Toy Freddy's design. Toy Bonnie, on the other hand, I do not like his design. I'll put him at Above Bon Bon and um, uh, C tier. I cannot think right now. I'm tired. Toy Chica. Uh, put her. She has a pretty cool design. But and her beak. Whenever I first realized her beak was gone, and uh, whenever I first started playing the game, I got so terrified. All right. Um, let's put her at a. Uh, I'll put her at the top of eight uh, uh, B tier. All right, well, um, that's it. Thank you for watching, and uh, I get a thumbnail real quick. Well, all right. Thank you for watching. See you.